Welcome everybody, this is Tony Hager, Takedown Wrestling, IARussell.com, and we are joined here today by uh, Dan Gable. No introduction needed. Today we are talking with him about the Dan Gable Museum Gala that's going to be taking place Saturday, October 24th. Dan, thank you for joining us today. Hey, I'm glad to be on. Needed need to promote the sport, uh, and I'd like to move forward on that. I know you're a busy man, and uh, there's a you know there's been lots of fundraising that's been going on. What is the fundraising for that you've been traveling around and raising the funds for this museum actually for? We actually are doing an event. I didn't even look at it as a fundraiser so much from my point of view. Uh, the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in Stillwater and the Gable Wrestling Hall of Fame in Waterloo look at it that way more. I'm looking at it as an historic event where a, one of the leading states in the world for wrestling, Iowa, uh, is trying to get their top wrestling in one room. I think we have 26 colleges, 27 programs in college for a state of Iowa, 2.8 million, which, you know, that, that's pretty good considering. Uh, but where it could go, you know, is, is really what I'm thinking about. And and so right now the museum is going to have an, a renovation. And this is our kind of final, we wanted this to be the final effort to fund that effort. But, you know, we may not come out of it with as much money. We may have to continue to do it. But what I'd really want to do is to make sure that the effort for promotion of the sport is there. And that's what it's about. An historic event where you have every college represented in that room that night, 26, 27 programs, and be able to really celebrate our past, but not too much because I, because we, we don't really have a lot of time to celebrate for our sport. There's just a lot of reasons I want to share with, the group, some of those reasons, which they probably know already, but I want to hit it all at one time. I want to be able to uh, make sure that they realize what the future uh, needs to be. And I, I believe I can uh, come across and I can do it all in one time. I mean, I could do it all in one time right here, but I think in the same room, actually having guys talk to each other, share an evening, I think it would do a lot for our sport. I think it would be a template. Now, I, I, what I'm doing is getting into my speech here for that night. But, you know, if I have to get them there this way, that's fine. Because, you know, we are so competitive in our sport individually that we forget about our sport. And you think all you have to do is win and our sport will thrive. Well, I'm a living example of that. And, and so are most of these guys. Just because you were great wrestlers or your programs were good at great at one time. Our sport still has so much to learn, so much more advancement, and I want to make sure that that's impounded in, in, in this evening. But at the same time, I want to be able to motivate some people uh, for the future because it's, it's, it, there's about a lot of things there. And um, I think if we have one place in the state of Iowa that everybody feels comfortable with, if, if people in the state of Iowa think that the Gable Museum is only about the Hawkeyes. Uh, that's a major issue. Uh, I know Tom, I mean, uh, uh, I know that uh, uh, our, our museum actually sometimes battles with the Hawkeyes just because of uh, one reason or another. And it's, and, and it's about the sport. Yeah, I mean, and so, you know, that's where we want to, that's where I want to make sure that the people understand. Yeah, I mean, there's there's numerous Hall of Famers that are represented in this museum. It's not a Dan Gable only museum, and people that haven't been there don't understand that. You know, there's museums for Bob Feller. You know, there's a lot of Bob Feller stuff in there. This is this is there's numerous Hall of Famers, Olympians, NCAA champions. There's all different schools, and that's what this event in my eyes is all about like you said there's 26 colleges in the state of iowa that if we can get them all in one room instead of you going from college to college to college with your message let's get them in one room 
no black and gold, no red and gold, no purple and yellow. There's no colors involved. We just have a meeting of, of minds, lots of leaders in our state that are trying to help the state of wrestling grow in Iowa. But, you know, we are – we're in the Midwest, and if, if we can, you know – have a foundation in the state, it will move outwards. And that, that's the way it's always been in the state of Iowa, uh, you know, thankfully for you. And, um, you know, I, I think, um, you know, people out there, they do have that mindset that it's a black and gold Hall of Fame. But there's what, what, this, what this fundraiser is doing, not just this, or what you guys have been doing is to help make it more interactive. If you've been down to the wrestling museum at the down at uh, state wrestling tournament very interactive great great experience for people to realize what the state championships are all about there's a little section there wrestling that's what i think the dan gable museum is trying to do correct absolutely and we have a training center that which is above and beyond a museum and it's you know it's not really large enough or it's not really well kept to the point of you know we we could use some upgrading there as well besides you know so not only do you get to come there and be more interactive and learn about our sport you know you're going to actually the colleges are going to get a big uh a part of this fundraiser is to actually enhance their program to make sure kids when they walk in they can push a button and, and watch the program in upper iowa or you know somewhere else of the 27 schools to, to know that they have a chance to to go somewhere whether it's from the Iowa people or whether you're from the out out of state so you know that's you know I think that's uh, uh, very important as well you know getting to know the history behind these other these other programs I mean we we need all these programs to to support you know maybe our bigger programs I think and because uh, where where do all these kids all the every kid can't be a d1 athlete and they have to have a place to go. They have to have a foundation for their future. So these smaller colleges are, are very important, and we want to highlight them October 24th. And um, there's a good way that you can get involved with this. Call them at 319-233-0745 or dgmstaff at nwhof.org. Give them, a, give them a ring, see how you can get involved. I believe tickets are 150 bucks for individual, right? Yeah, I believe so. And, we, you know, we were looking to actually have somebody sponsor each one of these colleges. And, I, I, and some of the colleges took it kind of personal a little bit in, in the fact that maybe <clears throat> they didn't want us to go out and help them do that because, you know, they have their own people. Well, we want their own people just to deal with them. But since they're not doing it as much as we would want them to do right now, you know, if they want us to help them, we will. We want to, uh, you know, be able to, uh, you know, we want to sponsor each school, have a school sponsored by, you know, some one of their backers or, you know, we were willing to um, go out and do it for them. But they, you know, we didn't get any, any names or leads or anything like that. So, you know, they can do it themselves. And, and a lot of times people are a little careful and people don't like their names out there you know because otherwise you know they get hit pretty hard by other areas and we can let them do it so uh, you know I'm, whichever way they want to uh, perform to get that uh, sponsorship now uh, if, you know if they don't want to do it uh, you know I can't make I can't twist their arms even though you know I, I'd like to do that just because I think they want I think sometimes they need a twist a little bit to understand what what's going on but it's it's really about another area that you i don't know if we haven't even talked about it yet which i really think is very important is the des moines area one of the reasons we're having it in the des moines area is because des moines actually our capital <laughs> most people know that and it's probably the one area of the state that I'm not saying they're really behind, but we have much more room for improvement. And you can look at that just by seeing where the five schools of the inner city schools just started middle school wrestling. This will be their third year. Now that's a big plus. And that's something that is, is going to be, you know, really good for Des Moines future and how they do in the, in our coveted state tournament, you know, that type of thing. You know, I, we've also 
uh, looked at you know schools like Drake that once had you know a pretty good wrestling foundation, and you know we're we're looking at that area. And Grandview showed what we can do, and and we think that there's always good to have a rivalry school uh, in within that within that same uh, area. But more than that, it's just that Des Moines is uh, an area that we can help grow our sport very quickly because of the population base. And because of that, you know, that's why we're having it here. Uh, we have other reasons as well, but, you know, mostly that uh, it's something that we want the, the coaches to leave and the people that come leave motivated for the future of our sport. We just set an all-time record in Las Vegas for viewership. That's a plus, uh, you know. And if you go and if you go out there and you uh, do what the Turkish heavyweight says, uh, he thought that was great to having it in Las Vegas. But he says, "Why did you have it in Las Vegas when you could have had it in Iowa?" <laughs> you know, and uh, they had seven thousand in Las Vegas. You know, we probably could have had a full house. You know, fifteen, sixteen thousand. You know, we're we're promoting this event coming up. We're promoting events. We got the Olympic trials, and they're gonna say, "Well, that's at Iowa." You're, well, you know what? It is Iowa, but it starts here. But it's not about the University of Iowa. It's 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 about um, breaking, getting back the record for for attendance at at Kinnick. And oh, that's the University of Iowa. Well, that's the place right now that can can break wrestling records and create the most publicity for the sport. We got so far to go yet, uh, just like at the World Championships. You know, I, you know, I was looking in the USA Today every day for where's the column on our wrestlers winning gold medals. Huh? I couldn't find it, you know, but with this emphasis and maybe a template, we can start Pennsylvania. Uh, Ohio, Illinois, who have a lot of colleges, and they can do some similar things. That, but we're the lead. We're the example. Now, do we need to do this every year? No, we don't need to renovate major wrestling attractions every year. But what we need, need to do is, every once in a while, do something that's really good for the sport. This can be really good for the sport. And I don't mean it just from a leadership point of view, actually, I do mean it from a leadership point of view, Iowa, the leader, but also even the female aspect. You know, when I say 26 programs and there's a 27th, we, uh, we got one female program. But what got us back into the Olympics? What got us back into the Olympics? Well, I'll tell you what did. Change of leadership and the, the ability to convince people that we're going to actually work harder on the female aspect. Uh, we added more people to the uh, UWW board. I don't think we even had a female on before. So, you know, it's like, wow, uh, you know, these are big steps, but we got to take these steps quicker and where else better than where the world knows that Iowa wrestles. So let's do it. So the uh, night, can you can you walk us through or or walk the fans through of kind of how the night will go? Is there a dinner? Is there going to be other guest speakers? Can you kind of step through what what the whole night will entail? Maybe Mike can help with that. Well, you know, Mike Mike Doty's actually uh, the fundraiser for the developmental guy for the museum in Stillwater and up here. So you know, he can kind of tell you uh, what it is. But for me, it's like. Uh, you know, it's more of like what I said, a celebration. We intermingle, which I think a lot of these coaches probably have never even talked to some of the other coaches. That'd be great. You know, and then they're all going to get introduced. And we are going to have a meal. And then we're going to have a program. And the program, we're still developing the program, kind of depending on what we think our audience is. But we actually have to go with what we think our audience is. And so we're going for the top program. You know, we want to get some people here that will generate uh, some good press, you know, important people in our sport. But we already have a lot of people that's important in our sport if they just come to the event. And with that in mind, you're helping promote the sport. So, 
you know, the, the, you know, people are always saying, well, who's going to be some of your like big names? Well, <laughs> the names, if the people from the colleges just come, we got big names and we got an event in itself by there. But, but, you know, we're going to have outside people coming in too. We're just still finalizing that. And, uh, and Mike, you know, if you have something to add to that, Mike Doty here, uh, you know, I'd gladly uh, have you say something here if you want. Yeah, I mean, guys, I mean, and there's not very many events that happen where you can, uh, you know, you could go to the Olympic trials and uh, you can go to uh, the, you know, U.S. Open, World Team Trials, all these events. And you, you kind of see all these guys when you walk around, you know, from a fan or media, you, you see all these guys walking around and, you know, you get your picture taken with them. And um, this is a, this is a type of event where you get them all in one room. I mean, you, there's going to be a, it's like a, a starstruck time where you get it, don't you? Yeah. I mean, there's, get it. I mean, I don't know if Jim Miller is going to be there, but I mean, let's Unless say, he is. yeah, Jim Miller and, and you and um, uh, just, there's so many coach Kevin Jackson. I mean, we could have Tom Brands. I mean, we could have these coaches in one room. Um, I mean, uh, I think uh, you there's just going to be a, a level of respect there. I think that we can have with it, with each other, and um, I I'm excited for the uh, the event to happen just just because you know there like, like I said there's no black and gold red and gold we're all one united and we we got to learn from you. you you travel the world uh, you know the country more than anybody hearing what's going on in other programs and what's needed so i think uh, what better way to get a broader idea of you know what our sport needs to to do to progress than to hear from you well you know what our governor branstad stepped up immediately when we he found out olympic wrestling was going to be dropped or was dropped and then he led to all the other governors being able to to do a lot and get some, some important information out there. And all of a sudden, we won on the first vote. Well, we're starting in Iowa again, trying to get an event that is going to be an event that other people in the country and in the nation need to do. And with that in mind, we think that uh, it's, it's going back to us. And we don't necessarily have to get patted on the back. But if we do a good job, we're definitely making a big difference. So it's it's like that vote. We won that vote to get Olympic wrestling back in because Iowa stepped up. Not the University of Iowa, the whole state, and that's what this is about. Of the state and uh, you know the, the the sport stepped up, not like you said, a specific college. And Dan, I you know I really appreciate you coming on here. Uh, took about twenty minutes of your time, and uh, I think uh, the message of to, I need to get out there to coaches wrestlers and fans is this is an event for the sport of wrestling not dan gable specifically it's about uh the sport helping the museum grow and uh, teaching our youth what is so great about our sport dan thank you for the time today hey thanks a lot i mean this is about des moines iowa don't forget that too sounds good des moines iowa you better show up in the whole state we want you there october 24th 